Okay, so here's a quick slideshow slash video of how I built my trailer. There's the basic frame. I just had to add all the support beams going across. <clears throat> Got it on some saw horses so I can make that easier to do. There's me working day and night, getting all the cross beams on there equally. Here I tested out the, the leaf springs on how to anchor those down, weld them. I added the tongue here. And after that, the coupler and the jack, as you see there. <clears throat> I think, yeah, there it is on the axle. It's a 95-inch axle. It's a little wider than I needed, but it still works, so I'm pretty happy with it. There I added the top layer of the frame and finished painting it and added the chains to the front. Here's a side view of the chains, everything. Painted, painted black, the back. The lights are cool, a little different than the other ones. I am giving it a test drive. It does scrape the jack right here, so I ended up getting a six inch lift on a ball hitch. So now it should prohibit that from happening, especially when there's weight on it, it's gonna push it down even more, so. I altered, uh, opted to get the 6 inch instead of the 4 inch. And it's driving. Here I added the side marker and the middle center light. And that's required for trailers over a certain width. And I'm happy. Here's a picture of the trailer with wood, which is how it's going to look when it's done. But that's wood from the ring. Alright, here's the final product. We got the coupler and the jack, the lock, coupler lock. I have a smart tag. I'm about to tag it right now. This is it loaded with the ring. So the wood doubles up for the flooring right now. I still have to get the wood, which is going to be about 200 bucks. Then I got all my lights completed. Reflectors. So, yeah, that's my new trailer. I had these tires from my last trailer laying around, so luckily I didn't have to buy wheels and tires, but they're balding on the side, so I'm gonna have to replace those pretty soon. Yep, she works flawlessly. <laughs>